Hello, this is Crystal Meach. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Tao of the Heart. This is the deeper meaning of Sing Tu. The content created within is for educational and entertainment purposes only. This content is not meant to replace any medical, legal, or financial advice. If you need legal advice, seek appropriate legal counsel. If you need medical care, seek a competent medical physician. If you need a financial counselor, seek a licensed financial professional. All information is copyrighted and subject to copyright law. This presentation respects the rights of all authors, artists, and copyright holders. Consequently, all works that appear in this video do so within the confines of Section 107 of the Copyright Act, which states that copyrighted materials can be used for the following purposes. Criticism, comment, reporting, teaching, research, and scholarship. Any illegal reproduction of this content will result in immediate legal action. Tao of the Heart, YouTube channel and Rumble channel, helping people open their heart and realize their truth, presenting knowledge in ways that are intelligible and usable for those who wish to receive it. Today, we're gonna to talk about the writer and creator of the film, Garth Jennings, four films to watch together, Sing Two, Matrix Four, Wizard of Oz and Alice in Wonderland. On the surface, under the surface, the meaning of names, scope of analysis, deeper meaning of sing to, scene by scene, and then the conclusion. So the original Sing movie was released in 2016. It had a budget of 75 million and grossed $634 million. The film was written by Garth Jennings. It came out in theaters in, on December 22nd, 2021. The budget for Sing 2 was $85 million and it had largely good reviews. Uh, so Garth Jennings was born in 1972. He was an English author, director, producer, and screenwriter. He's the co-founder of the production company Hammer and Tongs. He's known for directing Son of Rambo, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, Sing, Sing 2, and Madam. Four films to watch back to back. Sing 2, Matrix 4, Alice in Wonderland, and Wizard of Oz. Sing 2 and Matrix 4 were, re were released the same day, December 22nd, 2021. Both have the same ending, the divine feminine saving the divine masculine. Rosita saves Buster Moon. Trinity saves Neo. Sing 2 opens with characters performing the play Alice in Wonderland. We will discuss this in the further, um, we'll discuss this further in the analysis. There's several references to the Wizard of Oz. The hall that Mr. Moon walks to see Jimmy Crystal is eerie eerily similar to the hall that Dorothy, the lion, the scarecrow, and the tin man walk to see the Wizard of Oz. There's a scene where Miss Crawley visits Clay Calloway. Notice she loses her eye and replaces it with an apple. This is similar to the Wizard of Oz scene where Dorothy picks up the apple that was thrown at her and she eats it. She's nourished by what is thrown at her. Both are a biblical reference to Eve in Genesis. So on the surface, this may look like a good children's movie with great music. The characters are animals that talk like humans. The plot and setting of the film is in the entertainment capital of the world. Sounds a little bit like Hollywood. Under the surface, there is coding within the storyline, characters, and the setting of the film that references proclivities within the current culture, time period, and relationships of the characters. 
There is religious symbology within the plot, characters, and setting of the film. Whether or not you are religious or spiritual, you can still gain the self-empowerment that this film's message reflects. Meaning of names, Buster Moon. Buster means tough guy and moon means the natural satellite of the earth visible by reflected light from the sun. Miss Crawley, crawling in a way that causes an unpleasant feeling of unease. Rosita comes from the Spanish name Rosa, meaning rose. Gunther, battle warrior. Johnny, God is gracious. Mina, gem. Nana Noodleman. Nana means grace in Hebrew, and Noodleman is a Jewish occupational name for a tailor or maker of noodles. Or sorry, of needles. <laughs> Suki means beloved. Jimmy Crystal. Jimmy means supplanter, which means someone or something taking place of another as through force, scheming, or strategy. Crystal means brilliant glass, and in Greek, it means carrier of Christ. Portia Crystal, offering. Ash, happy. Norman, man from the north. Clay Calloway. Clay means stick together. Calloway means place of stones. Nushi, seeker of great opportunities in life. Darius means maintains possessions well. Alfonso, ready for battle. Klaus, Klaus means victory of the people. Ruby, red gem, gemstone, can be short for Reuben, which in Hebrew means behold a son. This review is limited to illuminating parts of the film that reference ideas which may help the consumer of this information attain self-empowerment. We will dive into some of the deeper meanings of what happens in the film and how that storyline or detail may reference other ideas in the film and or scripture. Uh, to complete a full analysis would potentially take many volumes of writing. The intent is to illuminate areas of the film that the consumer of this information can further study. Follow the light through the darkness. Notice the differences between the original film, Alice in Wonderland in 1951 and the 2010 version. Films carry more relevance of current culture. Mina is a teenager in Sing 2 and Alice is a teenager in the 2010 version of Alice in Wonderland. In the 1951 version, Alice is about eight to 10 years old. The disassociation of the mind, which is explored in Alice in Wonderland, continues much later after adolescence. Even Dorothy in Wizard of Oz is a teenager, not quite an adult. Alice in Wonderland involves Alice following the rabbit in daytime. In Sing 2, Mina is not following a rabbit. She's following the light from her flashlight. There's a reference here, follow the light through the darkness. Mina finds a door that gets big enough for her size. She easily walks through to follow the light. This is a contrast from Alice in Wonderland in the 1951 version. In that version, Alice drank the poison that made her small, then ate a cookie that said, eat me, to grow large enough to reach the key. The obstacles to get through the door to Wonderland are not present. Through the door is the way to great luminosity. Once Mina walks through the door, the film shows white rabbits with clocks on their guitars. Time can be played. The flowers are dancing, which is similar to the flower scene in Alice in Wonderland. This is a biblical reference to the Garden of Eden. Rosita is the Cheshire cat. In Alice in Wonderland, the cat is a guide through Wonderland, which is the subconscious mind. Johnny is the Mad Hatter. In Alice in Wonderland, the Mad Hatter is stuck to a time of 6 p.m. forever. This is similar to experiencing dementia, where memory of time is lost. Gunther is the caterpillar, which breaks off into sections. The caterpillar in Alice in Wonderland asks Alice, who are you? 
Gunther, Buster, Rosita, Johnny, Portia, Mina, and himself are challenged by this question. Mina is just a normal te teenager until she goes into the tent. She turns into Alice in Wonderland. She followed the light and it took her on an internal journey through her own mind and heart. That journey is now externally shown by the change from teenager to Alice. So the way to the light is to reconnect with Alice, your inner child. Um, the bear plays the queen of hearts. They're shouting to run away. It represents the ego and the ego rests in the heart. We run from our fears created from past experiences. We only resolve those fears when they are faced head on, similar to Alice in Wonderland. So this really sets the stage for what our characters in Sing um, will go through in Sing 2. Here's a couple of the scenes, the rabbits, and Mina as Alice. If your opportunity is leaving, you have to go get it. Suki, the talent agent, mirrors Buster Spears back to him. Not good enough. Buster chases her down and ends up in the canal. He is then dejected from the water by the whale. Buster continues his journey from the first film where he had to overcome numerous obstacles, including the destruction of his theater. That was the beauty of that film. After all he went through, he felt like a failure, a loser, and like he would never realize his hopes and dreams. In the rune, he receives the gift they put on the show among the runes. Success, hopes, dreams, they all come in a different package. If you don't have the fight, guts, faith, or stamina, then maybe you're not good enough. Pep talk from Nana Noodleman. This sets the scene for the whole movie. Buster is much more in survival mode in this film. You have a choice in how you will respond when someone says you're not good enough. Buster can't sleep, he packs and calls his friends. They're going to that audition. Your response to your present situation or the results you experience is a direct reflection of your current consciousness. Will you accept someone else paying you less than your worth? Ash gets a paycheck that's half what other performers are being paid. She has no idea where she'll get paid, what she is worth and she leaves. It's not so easy to walk, but she stands for what she's worth by walking away. Buster's timing is impeccable here, and she takes his opportunity. When taking a risk, we find all the reasons not to proceed. The group laments their fears in taking the sleep to go to Red Shore City. There's a comfort zone in what is known compared to what is not known. They're able to balance their fears and get on the bus. So whatever you believe, you're right. There will be obstacles to your opportunity. The group finds a way into the 107th floor of Crystal Tower. Obstacles overcome, front desk check, elevator check, common area check, backstage check, and audition check. The villain is your greatest servant. He tells you exactly who you are. It appears that Jimmy Crystal is an ally at first. He appears, or sorry, he approves Gunther's idea for a sci-fi musical. There's always strings attached to an opportunity. Notice the song played, where the streets have no name. Look up the meaning of those lyrics or just the, the lyrics in general. The world reconstructs to produce the desire you want to create. Jimmy Crystal provides all the things needed to put the musical into production. This is the next test. Can the team deliver in the midst of all the resources provided? The resources actually have nothing to do with the consciousness that each person must embody. First the desire, then the details come in later. Notice how Gunther sold an idea. He had a desire to create a sci-fi musical. All the details were not yet there. They acted on the idea, and now the team is bringing that idea into fruition. 
there are obstacles in having the time to come up with a plan, but they make it work. Notice how the plot of the musical mirrors the characters' journeys. The plot of the musical is searching for a missing explorer, which ends up being Clay Calloway. He's been missing for 15 years. They visit four planets, love, war, joy, and despair. Each character must embody the consciousness of the role they have been cast to play. They must assume the feeling of that character. Each character is challenged in order to become the role cast in the musical. Notice in the Bible how many times I am is used. The Bible and its characters show us our greatest power, which is assuming consciousness of that which we desire. Our desire encompasses a feeling. By assuming the feeling, we embody the consciousness desired. Continued. Characters must assume the consciousness of the role cast to play. So Buster must become a director. Johnny must become a dance battle warrior. Mina has to be a goddess. Rosita must become a captain. Ash must become um, the, a saver of a lost space explorer. Gunther must assume the consciousness of a captain's robot assistant. And Clay Calloway must assume the consciousness of a lost explorer that is found. All the results in your world were first decreed in your consciousness. Buster promises Jimmy Crystal that he can get Clay Calloway to be in his musical and use his music. Miss Crowley finds the address of Clay and Buster sends Miss Crowley in the fruit basket to find him. When we take on a new role, our insecurities show up in our world. Johnny doesn't know how to dance, so by taking a new challenge, he seems to be clumsy and he can't find a beat. This is often the case when we set out to become something we're not yet aware of being. Klaus is really mean to Johnny, and this obliterates Johnny's confidence. His performance is worse as a result. He says, the blow hates me. Keep in mind that when someone is attacking you, it is actually their insecurity. You must consent to accepting what is said. So if someone says that they hate you, your consciousness determines your response. This is the embodiment of all that Jesus taught. It's hard to assume the consciousness of a role when you have no idea how it feels. Mina meets Darius and she's insecure about the fact that she has never been in love. She must be the goddess in this role and evoke love. She has no idea how it feels to be in love and Darius is not exactly her type. He doesn't evoke the feeling of love within Mina. The Garden of Eden is a state of non-duality that is not available until we are born again. The scene where Miss Crowley goes to meet Clay Calloway for the first time has a twist on the story of Adam and Eve in Genesis. Clay is a lion. Christ is also just depicted as a lion, king of the jungle, in the Chronicles of Narnia. Miss Crowley has only one eye. This represents the all-seeing eye of God. She doesn't have two eyes. She doesn't see the world through duality or two eyes. When she gets to Clay's property, it's a lush garden of trees with fruit. She is carrying a fruit basket. This implies she is in the Garden of Eden. This is outside of Clay's property. He has fenced off the Garden of Eden outside of his house. Clay has shut out the Garden of Eden. Clay rejects her as a trespasser and she falls for his booby traps. She loses her eye trying to run and replaces her glass eye with an apple. No matter the glass eye or apple, she can't see with either. She can't see duality in the, gar in the Garden of Eden. There are many different ways that we don't trust. To find them, look at the ways that you try to control situations in your life. Rosita's fear of heights and loss of confidence have caused her to lose the leading role. She doesn't trust the cord that holds her. Buster fears that if he doesn't make Jimmy Crystal happy, he'll sabotage the opportunity for the musical to go on. 
Portia is young. She has no fear of heights and she's inexperienced. She is the opposite, fearless. Notice how her confidence and fearlessness land her Rosita star role. The choice of fear manifests further loss of confidence. Rosita is spiraling down. Her fear has consumed her as she cries in the bathroom. This loss of confidence in her abilities has her in a crisis. She now must decide if she will continue to let fear run the situation or if she will find the confidence to overcome her fears. Logic and the mind won't get you, won't get you to samadhi, a state of non-duality. The car is ruined, but Miss Crawley filled the tank. Meeting conditions, such as bringing the rental car back with a filled tank, won't get you to the state of non-duality. You can't think your way to a, limited, a limitless, undefined state of pure love. The journey is within the heart. The violence that one accepts within is then experienced in one's reality. The more that Klaus breaks down Johnny, the more that he succumbs to his own fears. It's as though Klaus is drilling not good enough into Johnny's head. The internal feeling that Johnny has accepted is taken out on his skateboard. The violence that Johnny accepts from his conditioning is then experienced in his world. Within the flow state, it's as though time stands still and we experience effortlessness. This is the opposite of what was experienced in the dance class with Klaus, where effort is all there is. Nushi feels the beat and it moves her. In the same way, singing moves Johnny. The challenge is now flow state versus effort state. Who will win? flow state. Keep in mind how both Nushi and Klaus get results. One is through effort and one is through flow state, flow state, moving to the beat. One can discipline themselves to be in flow state. Notice how opposites turn the same wheel. Flow versus effort. This comes down to choices. Whatever your choice, you create your results. As the team spirals due to choosing fear, they experience more fear. Convincing Clay Calloway to be part of the show is a little harder than everyone thought. Rosita has been recast to a smaller role. Her fears and loss of confidence have her playing small. Portia's fearlessness and confidence are exuded, but she doesn't have talent for the star role. This shows that there is more to embodying a conscious state. Buster made a promise and he's being asked to deliver on that promise. We will be tested on the path to deliver what was promised. Notice how everything is about Jimmy. His state of mind involves him forcing the results he wants to experience. Buster fears the consequence of not meeting the demands of Jimmy. He's driven to act out of fear. This keeps him out of the state he wants to experience. Out of fear, Buster delegates to meet the demands of Jimmy Crystal. Challenges that the team must now overcome. Ash will help Buster convince Clay to join the show. Gunther must lock in the ending of the show on his own. Miss Crawley is in charge of keeping production on a schedule. As Buster tries to right the ship to the results he wants, he has to prioritize. His fears are causing a conflict within, and he is trying to meet both demands, the result of putting on the show and keeping Jimmy Crystal happy. As the fears mount, the resistance persists. Ash and Buster make it to Clay Calloway's house, but were met with similar obstacles that Miss Crowley faced. The role of Portia as captain doesn't fit. Gunther misses catching Portia while practicing the final scene. Fake it till you make it. Mina tries her best to evoke the state of the goddess in love. She has a desire to embody love. As she steps out of the studio, she is struck by Alfonso. The feeling of attraction has been activated in just the right time. Despair is a state of loss of connection. 
Ash and Buster find their way into Clay's house. Clay has no interest in being in their show. Clay doesn't see how being in the show would help him move out of the state of despair. He sees this opportunity as just another Hollywood agent trying to capitalize on his love for his wife. Alignment with the flow state, the connection within is unstoppable. Notice how Johnny now has trust and confidence in his abilities. Nushi taught him how to connect within himself. This state of consciousness brings Johnny the results that he wants to embody. Vulnerability has the power that once evoked brings feelings of the heart to the surface. Mina eats her fourth ice cream cone. Her shyness is due to lack of confidence. She tries to build up to talk to Alfonso, but continues to sabotage her efforts at journeying the unknown. Repetition of vulnerability allows one to wed trust and confidence. Avoiding pain keeps one bound to suffering duality. The way out of suffering is seen beyond duality. Notice the more that Buster tries to sell the show to Clay, the more that Clay disconnects. The more that Ash connects with Clay and his experience of despair, the more that Clay reconnects within himself. Your perception is your reality. When Buster recasts Portia out of the lead role into a different role, she assumes that he fired her. Portia blows the news out of proportion. Her perception of her reality creates her experience. She feels hated and says, wait until dad hears you hate me. She is playing a victim and there's a power in being one. Despair leaves one stuck in the past and the way out is reconnecting within. Ashley moves Clay out of despair by singing one of his songs, You've Got to Get Yourself Together. Notice the lyrics. You've got to get yourself together. You've got stuck in a moment and you can't get out of it. Don't say later will be better. Go back to Alice in Wonderland, specifically the, mal the Mad Hatter, who is living in a loop stuck to a time of 6 p.m. forever. This is the loop that Clay is stuck playing, looping the state of despair within his life. Another film that helps one with the state of despair is Never Ending Story. The connection lost is the inner child and the way back to that connection is self-love. When one can only see power as outside of the self, it manifests as that reality experienced. When the firing of Portia is shown on the news, the first thing her dad says is, now everyone thinks I have a talentless lose, loser for a daughter. Jimmy sees his daughter as not providing him worth. Love is conditional in his reality. Notice the ways that Jimmy tries to control situations outside of himself. He uses force to get what he wants. As one faces their fears head on, it may seem as though fears are winning. Controlling your outer reality is like breaking a mirror due to the reflection. As Jimmy Crystal is about to drop Buster off the balcony, he says, the right thing is what I tell you. He cannot trust within. All the narcissism he portrays is outside of the self. The narcissist is not the opposite of the empath as is often portrayed. The narcissist was once an empath, but that didn't work. Both the narcissist and the empath cannot perceive their inner power, connection within the self, and the worth within the self. Both reject and abandon the self. The narcissist perceives that the more one takes, the more power one has. The empath perceives the more that one gives, the more power one has. When your life has been put on the line, worth and faith are questioned. Buster has faced a great fear in standing up to Jimmy Crystal. He has almost died for his beliefs. Suki advises that he leaves and doesn't return. The fear is so great that Buster takes Suki up on that offer. How strong is your belief? Can you hold the conscious state of who you truly are in the face of great obstacles? Who are you when you choose fear? Who are you when you choose faith? 
look at all the ways that Jimmy Crystal must utilize his energy to keep up the facade that he holds the power. Bring my snacks. There's a power in a vice. It validates the feeling state. He goes on hot news to repair his reputation. There is power in others' perception of oneself. He sends his men to find Buster. There is power in taking others' power. So I guess the point I'm trying to make, you know, and I'm, I said this too with his daughter um, playing the victim, when someone acts a certain way or whatever your choice, that's the choice of your power. Once one becomes aware of their choices, one must also have the guts to make the right one. Buster is so scared that he zips himself into a suitcase. Clay and Ash find him and he explains how he was almost killed. The cast enters and Miss Crowley faints at the sight of Clay and the memory of trauma she faced upon entering his property. Clay invokes the wisdom from his journey. This inspires the team to continue their journey and jump out the window. They make their way to perform and realize their hopes and dreams. Alignment with one's choice requires follow through on action. The team makes it to the studio with some minor modifications to the show. Tap dancing mon monkeys, Porsche cast as a green alien, release the piglets, need for protection from Johnny Crystal, and a sudden audience attracted into the theater. Action gains momentum. The show is unstoppable. In true moon theater style, the biggest show of their lives is offered to the public for free. The show is out of this world where the captain is searching for a missing space explorer. Rosita walks us through the adventure of exploring four planets, war, love, joy, and despair. The planet of war is Johnny's war with his own ego. This is a battle within the heart. The ego resides within the heart and its job is to protect. It's a servant and a friend. Notice the lyrics to A Sky Full of Stars. I don't care, go on and tear me apart. The battle between Klaus and Johnny is his fight for his worth and that he is good enough within his heart. The planet of joy shows Portia's ability to shut out the conditions placed by her father. As Jimmy Crystal watches off stage, Portia comes over and sings, I can't hear you. She's denying the conditions that J Jimmy has placed on her, that he has a talentless loser for a daughter. She finds joy in doing what she loves, which is singing. She sings, it could have been me, which reflects her confidence, worth, and trust in herself. On the planet of love, Mina imagines that she is with her heart's desire. She decrees that she is with Alfonso. Mina overcomes her shyness and talks to Alfonso after her performance. Darius has already embodied the feeling in conscious state that he is loved, that every girl that sees him falls in love with him. Even our last moment is a choice in our response. This time when Jimmy Crystal goes to drop Buster Moon to his death, Buster says, I'm not a loser. We did what we came here to do. Buster has ultimate faith in the divine of who he is and who he embodies. He embodies Jesus Christ and God the Father. Rosita overcomes her fear in order to save Buster. Pigs really do fly, but she really saved herself, which she trusted the divine within. On the planet of despair, Clay has made the choice to move beyond suffering. Non-duality is the way out of suffering. Notice the lyrics to the gospel song. I still haven't found what I'm looking for. I believe in the kingdom come, then all the colors bleed into one. All the feelings we embody, seeing through God's eyes, in totality is a pure, limitless love beyond comprehension. So to conclude this, no matter what happens on the journey, it all works out in the end. All of your feelings have power. Within your desire, you embody the feeling that is evoked from having that desired result.
the highest training of Jesus is in response. God is absolute within all of us. No matter what happens in our life, we always have a choice in how we want to feel. That is our greatest power and the point from which we create each moment. Thank you so much. I hope you liked it. Um, yeah, and I look forward to making more videos. Peace.